What up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I got another video for you. Now, a couple of days ago, I uh, did a video on this iPhone 10 about the price I got it for, deal I couldn't refuse, and all that stuff. But what I didn't tell you was who the carrier is, and the carrier is Spectrum Mobile. Uh, they only been around for a few months, maybe maybe seven eight months i i don't believe it's been a year uh but it's spectrum mobile if you are familiar with charlie communications it is a cable company they not too long ago changed their name to spectrum and a few months ago they uh went on to the mobile side of things and got their own cell phone service called metro I'm sorry, called Spectrum Mobile. <laughs> That's the name of it. You know me. No editing, no script, just talk talk off the top of the dome. So anyway, rest of the video. All right. So searching through the, on the internet for some deals, searching for some deals, and I came across Spectrum Mobile, and they had the iPhone 10 at that time. Uh, the 64 gig. I'm gonna show the. I'm gonna show the, the website. This is the website. Well, I was looking at to get the on um, the phone. Whatever. Now the 64 gig at that time was for 599. The 64 gig was 599 600, and the 256 gig was 749. But since I got the phone, I guess they realized that they tripped. And they upped the price on these joints. So now it's eight ninety nine for the two fifty six, and it was seven forty nine for the sixty four gig. But I got it from Spectrum Mobile. This is where I got the um, phone from. And um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience with the service so far, and and also my experience with having this iPhone ten. At the end of 2018, now in the beginning of 2019, because it is now, what, January 1st, 2019? Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. Uh, Spectrum Mobile. They are running off of Verizon Towers. And I can honestly tell you so far, uh, we're using the phone... You know, I do a lot of traveling, so where I travel at, I always have service. I never went nowhere and had a drop call. Now, with my Boost Mobile service, there is a about a four mile dead zone on the highway. This is on the highway that I go through, and they get a dead zone there. Uh, and so far, the only ones that I experienced that was able to have coverage was Cricket, which is AT&T, and now Spectrum. But when I had Metro, T-Mobile, and with Boost, the same area, no coverage. But I get it with Verizon, because this is off of Verizon Tower with Spectrum. And call card is crystal clear. Haven't haven't uh, experienced any drop calls while on the phone, and the internet is pretty fast. So that is my three week reveal experience on Spectrum, the network side of this video. Now, as far as the phone is concerned, the iPhone 10. Let me uh, take it out this case, and uh, I I uh, I got quite a few cases, but I do another video on that later. Um, but as far as the phone is concerned, yeah, it's a fingerprint man. I'm not gonna wipe it off, but uh, as far as this phone is concerned, uh, honestly, with the uh, with the iOS um, on your iPhones, 
they really all run the same. Now, I don't have the iPhone 8. I told you I was getting rid of it, trading to help pay for this phone, which I already did. So I no longer have my product red iPhone 8 Plus. Um, to give y'all a comparison, but I'll be honest with you, even with this new design iPhone, the iOS system itself is still the same. Now, this is a fresh design. It's, it's brand new. Uh, how you operate the phone is just a little different, but overall functionality of iOS is still the same. Um, let me see if I can unlock this. No, they ain't going to do it. Let me take it. Unlock this joint. All right. So, this joint is set up just like my iPhone 8 Plus was. And if you look at it, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> Only difference is the design of the actual hardware itself, the phone. The home button. You got the famous notch. People hate but it don't bother me you know uh, and that's really for us looks is the difference is the hardware and no home button for us looks now the way you operate this device is all off of gestures because you ain't got no home button so you do operate it a little different but be honest with you, man, it's iOS. It's like, it's really no different for us having an experience, uh, with an iPhone. Uh, you have them, you have one, you really got them all. If you have a, you got an iPhone that's six years old, you holding your hand the iPhone 10. Really, cause they really didn't change anything. Um, cause it all looks the same. Hopefully, Hopefully 2019, which we're in right now, and what is it, iOS 13, hopefully they will change the way iOS looks, because it looks the same. Uh, you just, well, I wiped everything else out, so let me just go into some things. And Now, it is fluent. I will give you that. It is fluent. It is fast, so so I will, I will give you that. Um, then you just you know you uh you swipe up to get to the home out of every app, and then you swipe up, hold it to get to your apps you were just in. You know what I'm saying? And you know you wipe swipe them up to get rid of them. Ain't, there ain't no just one button to clear all like on Android. You know, you swipe down to get to the control center rather than swipe up from the old phones with the um, home button. You swipe down on the side to pull down your notifications. And that's the difference. And nothing else different about it. Uh, now, you do have the OLED screen, which is new for iPhones. This is not the LCD. It's OLED and it looks good. It looks good. Um, but overall, my experience is having an iPhone <laughs> for real. Uh, I do enjoy it. Now, I, I do enjoy it. I'm not bashing it. I'm not talking bad about iPhones because if you an iPhone user, you already know the play. You already know how Apple do. So, you know, I already knew, you know, it's iOS, you know what I'm saying? But not bashing, but I do enjoy the iPhone 10. I do enjoy uh, swiping over the, to get to the home button, I mean, to get to the home screen, because it, it do seem a whole lot faster. It do seem faster to me than actually actually hitting that home button on the old iPhone designs, you know what I'm saying? The swipe seems a lot quicker to me. I like this a lot better. I, you know, I really do enjoy this version of iOS better with the new design iPhones. Um, you know, so that is my three week review. 
with the Spectrum Mobile service and also using the iPhone 10 throughout my day. The battery life is pretty good. Uh, watching videos on this is, is good. You know, you know, OLED display, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's a... Uh, it's an iPhone, man. What can I say? It's really nothing else to say about it. Uh, what I can't pass on to you. Um, if you want to get more uh, up to date where Apple is going right now with the new uh, iPhones, you want to do a cheaper route, you can get the iPhone XR. Or search around, search around, like I always say, and find you a uh, good deal on this iPhone 10. Because, you know, I don't care what none of y'all say. I know this, I got this for a good deal for 750 256 gig. Matter of fact, let me show you. Uh, it's, and it's going to unlock behind this screen, behind this uh, camera. But let me show you in general. Uh, about phone. And uh, as soon as you get the focus in, you, you better read that. Come on, LG. There you go. 256 capacity. Uh, got 224 available. But yeah, you see, it's 256. So, and I got this for 749. Brand new. Brand new. So, you know, heck of a deal, man. Heck of a deal. So, I got some more ideas coming up with videos concerning iPhone 10. But till next time, YouTube, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. If you like it even more, 